You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're talking to lots of different dance players here at the Sheppey Dance Classic. Uh, firstly, would you be able to introduce yourself to our listeners? Yeah, I'm Tim Pike, come from Alderslade, not too far away, about half an hour away. So uh, I've got a caravan on the island, so uh, this is my first time in this comp, but it looks very good, very well run. How did you hear about it then? It's advertised all over, the, all the dark players in Kent know about it, and there's a few from London that know about it, because uh, a lot of the Londoners have caravans here, so the word goes around, so... It's quite a well-run competition. Uh, how sort of are you hoping to do? Are you in the pairs today? Uh, I'm in the pairs. I'm hoping to get, yeah, get... There's a few very good players here, but I'm hoping to have a good day. There's a lot of old friends I'm seeing today, so it's a good drink, it's a good competition, and, uh, yeah, hope for the best. Part of a club or anything like that? Uh, yeah, no, I play for the Waterslade Club, and uh, I play for the uh, Tudor Rose in the Super League uh, in Kent. So, uh, yeah, two teams I play for. And obviously I've, I've got a caravan at Elmhurst and uh, we play a lot of darts in there. That's a very good club to play in. So there's a few people down today from there as well. Well, thank you very much for uh, okay. telling us all about that. Lovely. Cheers, mate. So we are continuing to talk to lots of different dance players here at the Dance Classic. I think we're going to be joined with one of the uh, youth players. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for talking to us. Could you introduce yourself for us? My name is Chelsea and I am Vinnie, Vincent Walsh's stepdaughter. So, uh, how long have you been uh, playing darts yourself? Uh, not very long. My stepdad, Vince, he first introduced me and my little brother to it. So, is this the first time here at the Darts Classic? Yeah. So, you're hoping to do uh, well, I assume? Played my first game against one of the boys at um, Herne Bay and lost unfortunately so you're hoping things will get better as the day goes on yeah are you part of a darts club yeah east kent darts academy so how often do you play and practice as part of that whenever i've got the chance to so as much as possible yeah well thank you very much thank you so we are continuing to talk to lots of different darts players and we're actually talking to some of the uh, youth members at the moment here at the Darts Classic. Um, I think you're both part of an academy, aren't you? Yeah, it's, um, it's in Herne Bay. Uh, it's called East Kent Darts Academy in, and it's placed at the Angling Club. So how long have you both been uh, part of that? I've been there I've been there for a couple of weeks and I'm starting to progress chalking and playing very well. I've been there for over a year now. I started back in January last year. And uh, is this your first time at the Darts Classic? Um, it is for me, and um, I had a bit of problems talking earlier, and um, but it's really encouraged me to play darts, my favourite sport. It's my second time here. My mum's the oh. defending ladies' champion. All oh, right. So, uh, hoping to do uh, pretty well this year. Then. Hopefully. I my dad is. I hope my stepdad is because um, he plays Ken and he usually wins most of his games. So, is this one of the biggest competitions you sort of enter throughout the year? Yeah. It's the biggest. I think me and Jacob have both. Me and Jacob have both played mm. so yeah. far. So I assume you really enjoy your darts. Oh yeah. Yeah. I practice a lot at home and get along quite well. Have you both got your own set of darts? Yes. I use Phil Taylor um, from 2009. I just use any. I just mix them up mine. <laughs> so you're still trying to find uh, a right balance? Um, no, I just, I just got um, 24, 23, 24 grams, maybe a bit higher, a bit lower. And uh, before we finish the interview, could you just let our listeners know uh, who you are? I'm Jacob Lott, I'm 14 years old, I'm from East Kent. I'm Kyle, I'm, I'm from Sittingbourne. Well, thank you very much for both of you. Thank you. Thanks. How long have you been playing darts? Well, I've been playing at the academy for two months, but I have a dartboard at home which I've played against my dad on and I've got into it. Yeah. So this is the first time you've been in a competition this sort of size? Yes, it is. 
so uh, I assume you're hoping to do fairly well then? Yeah, I, I'm hoping to try and win at least a game. And <laughs> So what got you into playing darts? Well, my dad plays for two teams um, and I like to play with him at home and I thought, oh, I like, I like this sport and I... So I started just uh, playing at home and then found out about the club and I came down and I enjoyed it. Well, thank you very much. Right, so we are continuing to talk to lots of different darts players here at the Darts Classic. Uh, firstly, could you introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name's Charlie Buck. And how long have you been playing darts? Since I was 18 months old. <laughs> so uh, a long time then. Yeah, <laughs> I'm 15 now. So, um, are you part of a club? Uh, I play London County Youth um, once a month on a Sunday. So how often do you actually have to practice to sort of keep it up? Every day. <laughs> like, if you want to get good, you've got to play every day. Like, I do Monday, I play on, in a league, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I do the youth Sunday, as I said, and I just practice you normally, like, Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, how um, often have you been here at the Darts Classical? Is this even your first time? Um, my dad's been coming since it was since it started, but this is only my second year, so... How did you do last year? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Well, I assume you're hoping to do fairly well this yeah, year. Yeah, hopefully. Well, thank you very much. So. So we are, as always, talking to lots of different darts players here at the Darts Classic. Um, firstly, thank you for taking the time out to speak to us. Could you introduce yourself first? My name's Sean, I'm from Faversham. Uh, played darts since I was four years old. It's for a chance, my arm in a tournament for a change. I never normally end that. People would normally say I'm good enough to win tournaments and that, so here I am. Is this your first time here at the Classic? I've been here before, but I've never entered before. Right. If you like. Yeah. So I'm just coming to test the water today. Stand in the chalet, just down the road. So it's nice and easy. Are you part of any sort of club or do you play regularly? Yeah, I've played in the Fabsham League for 17 years now, so. What what, what does that involve? Do you go to different tournaments like this or do you just play in local? No, the local league is just a mixture of pubs in and around Fabsham. So, you know. We have a league format, everyone plays each other twice, home and away. We have cup competitions as well, and that's how it goes. Singles and doubles competitions, in-house, halfway through the season. So that's how it carries on. Well, good luck for tomorrow and thank you for talking to us. Lovely, thanks very much. So we are at the moment talking to dance players here at the Sheppey Dance Classic. I was hoping um, you could introduce yourself to our listeners. Hello there, my name's Sean. Um... I'm uh, regularly here at the Darts Classic. It's a lovely, lovely day. Um, and it's really good talent, young people coming from all over, all over. And it's a good day. It really is good. How many times have you been to the Classic over the years? Over the years, I've been about three times because I'm, my, the one who organised it, Tony Cox, is my uncle. All right. So. It's a good family thing as well, if you want to come out. They've got lovely playgrounds at the back. It's really good for all people, um, especially young dart players. That's what we need in Kent now. Young dart players to come up and say, look, let's give it a go. Let's give it a bash. So, yeah, I really want to promote it, if I can, for for everyone. So you're a darts player yourself. Uh, yeah. Are you planning today and tomorrow? How am I playing? No, I mean, are you playing in today? Oh, yeah, yeah. And tomorrow? I'm playing in the pairs today yeah. with my dad, and I'll be playing in the men's singles tomorrow, which is going to be a good day as well. How have you done in previous years? Well, myself, I'm just getting over cancer myself, and I and I lost my arm a couple of times through um, cancer and radiotherapy and that, but, yes, I'm coming back, and I just want to make sure that I... I could still do it again. I used to play for Kent Youth in like, years ago, and um, now I come down with cancer at the age of 21, and now I'm coming back finally, and I want to get back into there, get back where I was. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking to us, and I uh, hope you do well both days. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So we are continuing to talk to lots of different darts players. Um, 
it's always good to catch up with you actually I was hoping you could introduce sell yourself to our listeners first you know? well I'm Andrew Cox and I've been playing now for about four to five years um, this year I haven't been able to enter the youth so I've had to um, go in for the pairs and obviously the open on the Sunday so is that because you're too old now to be in uh, well um, I've, I've hit 18 so um, when you hit 18 you're not allowed no longer to play in the youth competitions so that's when you have to start making the break up to the bigger games so is it going to be a lot more difficult or hard or different? Well, I'd say it's definitely going to be more difficult, but it's over more sets and legs, so you get more of a chance to show what other people how well you are and how well you can perform on the bigger stage. I understand you haven't been able to play so much darts recently. No, recently I've um, been at university, so I've had to stop playing on a Thursday, which has had a slightly negative impact on my performance today I feel but I should be able to continue performing as well as I can throughout the near future As always it's good to catch up with you, thank you very much for taking the time out So we are continuing to talk to lots of different people here at the Sheppey Darts Classic. We're on day two and we're going to firstly catch up with uh, Tony. It certainly looks busy out there and looks to be going well. Yes, it's great today. Um, We have uh, a lot more players this year than we had last year. Um, Probably thanks to BRFM, we keep putting it out. And, uh, of course, Facebook helps a bit now because it goes out quite often on there. So we had a busy day yesterday and um, it's even busier today. So uh, how did things go for the players yesterday? Yeah, it went well. Um, we had Peter Mitchell and Steve Sitters from Sittingbourne. Um, they won the pairs competition. Um, Ros Sayer from the East Kent Darts Academy. Um, she won the ladies with Marlene Badger as the runner-up and Marlene comes from Sittingbourne. And um, the youth was um, Jack Warner won. He beat Lewis Cracknell in the final. And um, Jack is also from the East Kent Darts Academy. And it's really nice. Um, The youth was really well supported in the end yesterday. So um, that was really good. And the East Kent Darts Academy are doing well. They're bringing on some really nice players. Uh, That's going to be our future. I was going to say, I think I interviewed more of the youth players yesterday than I've ever done since I've been coming in. Yeah, we had more youth then um, than we have ever had. Um, they brought a minibus down and um, and quite a few come down by car, so uh, it was very, very well supported and it was nice to see some of the players, which were only eight and nine, coming down and playing. And it was also nice to see when a couple of the experienced men players who didn't have a partner offered to play with the youth to help them along and give them a bit of encouragement. So that was really good as well. Yeah, it's always great to uh, to learn from everybody, and that's one of the things out there. You can see it's a great atmosphere, and everybody's learning and, and talking to each other. They are. Um, it's pretty family group. A lot of these do the circuit. Um, an awful lot of the players, they know each other. They know each other from Super League. They know each other from Kent ma- matches. So, um, yeah, virtually everybody knows everybody, and it is a really great atmosphere. Well, Tony, I'm glad uh, once again it's going well. Thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us today. Thank you very much. So we are continuing to talk to lots of different people down here at the Sheppey Darts Classic. And uh, we're next going to talk to uh, a company, I think, that has all these sort of darts and uh, bits uh, available. I was hoping you could tell us what you're, uh, what you're called and a bit about you. Right, we're called Dog Darts and we do all darts accessories and darts equipment uh, we also do um, events like the Sheppey Open uh, we help Tony with his events and um, darts for you we are with them we also work with the England darts and help out at the BDO darts events um, we're always around you can find us actually on the website um, at www.bigdoggreg at hotmail.com and you can get any of your darts accessories sent through to you or you can come and see us. So uh, how did you get into it? Did you used to play darts yourself? Yes, played darts for many years. Um, we sort of helped the children. We used to run a dart school for the kids in Erith but when that shut down because the building was no longer viable we then concentrated actually on selling the dart stuff and promoting.
So you've got a lot of expertise when uh, people sort of want advice or want, want help with that. Definitely, yes. And we have a, a nice setup at, actually in Bexley Heath that we can actually help people to perform their dance a lot better and, and school them. Well, thank you very much for telling us all about what you do. So we're talking to lots of different dance players and people here at the Sheppey Dance Classic. I was hoping you could introduce yourself to our listeners first. Yeah, I'm Steve Sidders. Um, I'm a local player from Sittingbourne. Um, won the pairs yesterday with my partner Peter Mitchell and just won my first round game today, so I'm pretty happy at the moment. So uh, so going pretty well. And I think we spoke to you a couple of years ago or, uh, or so, so I assume things have been uh, going fairly well since we last spoke. Yeah, yeah, well, well, I've always carried on playing darts and still playing for Kent and, and local league and Super League. So, yeah. And you've been coming to the Darts Classic uh, fair time, have you? Every year, yeah. What, from the beginning? Yeah, yeah. So well used to it then? Yeah, yeah, we like this one. It's a good comp. Well, thank you very much for updating us. No worries, thank you very much. So we're continuing to talk to lots of different darts players and people here at the Darts Classic. Uh, would you be able to firstly introduce yourself to our listeners? Yes, my name is Robert James Nice. I live in South End on Sea and I'm the manager of young Sean Lovett, uh, Winmere, Winmar, I should say, <laughs> Winmar Youth Champion two years ago. Uh, great player. I mean, so he's so, he's so young. Uh, I'm 72 now. I used to play county myself. And we go all over the place. So do you play darts yourself as well? Yeah, I still play. I play for his mum's team and that. I used to be a county player. I play for his mum's team in uh, Dagenham. And a uh, couple of local ones in South End. I still play. Sean plays with us, like, you know, keeps his eye in, keeps him going. And when he's playing with the grown-ups, it uh, improves his game with darts. So are you a regular visitor to the darts classic? Oh, we go all over the place. Oh, we... Uh, I don't think I think I'm a darts widow actually because the wife don't never see me hardly because right. every weekend we're away somewhere we're doing something we've just signed on for what well, I say signed on we're, we're, we're protégé now uh, there on telly you must have seen the programme yeah yeah it's on one uh, Sky 192 every uh, Wednesday uh, there, there is no sponsors now his last sponsor was Kevin Painter but uh Kevin's not with us no more. Only through commitments, nothing nothing against Kevin, smashing bloke. Uh, Target Darts, they sponsor him for all his gear. We went up there the other week and they made him six sets of new darts. Uh, they're going to invite, a lot, invite him along to their uh, evening, what they had, where you had Taylor, Bunting, Lewis, Chisnell. Uh, it's going to be an experience for sure. So we're hoping to go there as well. So it sounds like things are going really well. Oh, things are going well, yeah. He's still got a long way to go, though, because there's so many good players out there. There are so many good players, but I'm manager of Essex Youth as well, which I'll have uh, Martin Gower and Darren Batoon. I say I have, they do more than I do, really, because <laughs> I'm not there as, as much as they are, but they're wonderful people and they really do uh, bring Essex Youth on. Uh, we, we had a great season this year. We've had a great season. I'm not going to tell you how we got on against Kent because I might get done over here. <laughs> well, thank you very much for taking the no, time out right. to talk You're to You're welcome. Us. It's nice to talk to you. Thanks, bye. Right. Thank you. So we are continuing to talk to lots of darts players here at the Sheppey Darts Classic. Firstly, thank you for taking the time out. Could you uh, introduce yourself to our listeners? Well, I'm Conan Whitehead, a professional dart player on the PC circuit, and I've come here down to Sheppey Open today to try and do well. How did you do uh, last year here? Uh, last year I won the pairs, uh, and I got to the last eight of the singles. So it was a good result last year. Walked out of a little bit of money, so can't really argue. And how are things going uh, generally, darts-wise, for you? Well, they go very well. I mean, I'm, I'm ranked in the top eight in the PDC at the moment, so I can't really argue with that. Uh, practice is going well, darts is going very well. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to make a living out of it, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. Which is uh, which is good, and so I assume things are pretty busy week to week, going to different. Oh, I'll, I'll play darts uh, five nights a week, and then weekends I'm travelling to Wigan, Barnsley, uh, Birmingham, Crawley, I'm going all around the country to play darts, and it's playing against the top players in the world. So, but it's uh, but it's nice to uh, be part of that circle. Oh, it's brilliant. You you can't. It's 
the elite of darts. You're you can't go away a weekend and you're with celebrities every day. And eventually, hopefully, I'll be part of that part of that circle. So let's hope so. Well, as always, it's uh, good to catch up with regular players. Thank you very much for talking Thank to us. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So we are continuing to talk to lots of different people here at the Darts Classic. I was hoping you could introduce yourself firstly. Yeah, I'm Mark. Mark Cox. So um, you're not playing uh, this year, but I know you've played in uh, previous years, and I assume you're still playing darts. How are things going darts-wise? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. So uh, how many sort of um, games have you uh, entered in this last year or been been a part of, or is it more helping uh, run competitions like this now? Uh, I, I more help my father because yeah. I help him run it because he runs it every year, so I try to help him out a bit. Well, it certainly looks uh, busy out there. I assume it's going well. It is going well this year, yeah. We've had a good turnout. Which is, uh, which is good. And I noticed last year, uh, yesterday, there was uh, loads more youth players, it seems. So, uh, so I assume that side of it's doing well. Yeah, we had quite a few youth, which was a good thing. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for giving us a little update. Thank you.